Bing. you guys I can't believe that I got to a hundred thousand subscribers this is such a great way to wake up in the morning I'm still kind of in shock honestly I didn't ever to expect to hit this landmark um, when I started my YouTube channel a year and a half ago I just thought you know only I would watch it honestly like it just I, I'm still in shock I'm sorry I'm not really good at Articulating my thoughts right now, but yeah, it's just so humbling and such an honor that so many of you have joined me on my um, art journey and um, I couldn't be happier. So thank you all so much for giving me this awesome early Christmas present. I really appreciate it and I'm so excited to continue making awesome videos for you guys. Ah! So I'm just gonna get started with today's vlog. But yeah, as you guys know, my last vlog, I showed a little bit of a behind the scenes look at how I package my prints. I showed you guys the massive batch of print tubes and envelopes. And um, so I noticed some of you might be wondering exactly how I got the prints into the tube. I kind of showed you guys how I uh, finished sealing the tubes to get ready to be shipped off, but I didn't really show you guys what happens before that. So I'm gonna do a quick demo as part of today's vlog. Let's demonstrate with this print. It's of my painting titled La Petite Volus. Volus? Okay, honestly, my pronunciation is not perfect, so please bear with me. La Petite Voleuse, which means the little thief in French. Um, so this is on an eight and a half by 11 um, piece of luster printer paper. So it's got this beautiful gloss to it. So what I do is I put it into a plastic sleeve like this one. So this basically, um, I, I get all of my shipping supplies from Amazon, so if you guys are wondering where I get any of these, just search for it on Amazon. This is, I think, called like a clear envelope or something like that, but I get one that's sized to fit this particular print, and then I rip off this little, I don't even know what it's called, this little protective film here, and it's like a sticky enclosure, so then I'm able to seal the print like so, and then after I seal it, I roll it up. So because this this paper is bendy, um, I roll it up very carefully. Uh, make sure you don't crease the paint. This takes a little bit of practice. I messed up a couple of prints early on when I was first rolling these up, when I was like a little younger and less experienced. But now I'm getting pretty good at rolling them up. So just be gentle and take your time. So I roll them up like so. And then I put the print into a tube like this. So then after it's inside the tube, I make sure the print is not hanging around too closely to the to the mouth of the tube. I put on these little caps and you just kind of snap them on to both ends like so. And voila! And then what I do after this is I have um, sticky label paper that's like a sticker on the back and then I just peel, I print the label on the label paper and then I stick it to the tube like so. Uh, this portion of my studio is an absolute mess. I really need to clean it. Um, yeah, maybe I should take a break from working and just clean up this area real quick. I think I'm gonna do that. You can always tell when it's almost dinner time because this guy refuses to leave me alone. Hi, are you bothering me? <laughs> he likes to perch on my working chair to alert me that it is almost feeding time. Oh my god, so I looked over and I noticed these were coming out of my printer and I realized it's because I put it on the wrong, I put the paper facing the wrong side so it was printing in the back of the sheets of paper which are coated in like wax or something but oh my god look how scary this is. So yeah, um, note to self and to others, always make sure your paper is pointed at the correct side. Oh my god. Man, 
That was so scary seeing those prints turn out so terribly like the ink blotch made them look like monsters uh, That's gonna give me a nightmare tonight, but I'm really glad that there were only three prints that came out that way before I caught the mistake So that is why you can't just leave your printer running and you know go about your day like printing You have to really babysit the whole process because things like that could go wrong and you have to be there to fix it ASAP otherwise you are wasting so much money. It costs several dollars of ink just to print one print. So I'm really glad I caught that in time, but it really does suck that I wasted my ink. So it's my own fault. I should have been paying more attention. He wants me to follow him because he wants food. Okay, okay, I'll feed you. Mm, this is so yummy. You can barely wait, eh? Baby, in here, eat it over here. There you go. Should be enough for dinner. Hi, Boogers. Hi, sweetie. Did you enjoy your nap? <laughs> My little angel. All right, let's get you fed as well. I think for yours, I can just dump it in. Yay. Okay, that's about done. Yay. Enjoy. Eat your yum yums. Mushroom, eat your yum yums. Come on, eat your yum yums. Good girl. <laughs> Molly's already done. Look at it. She licks the bowl clean. <laughs> Molly, you eat so fast. You're such a little piglet. Yeah, it's so funny how these two dogs, they're actually sisters and they grew up together, but they're so different. Like, not only in appearance, but Mushroom is super picky, eats super slow, and gets so distracted. She's not really food driven, and Molly is so hungry. She gulps down her food like a vacuum cleaner. I know, your sister's such a slow eater. I know. I know, you can't wait to go out for a walk, but we have to wait for her because she's a slow poke. Oh, it's windy today. Come on, girls, let's go. Let's go for a walk. So I just got back from walking the dogs and Mushroom took forever to go. So we were out there for like 30 minutes. And I swear, I don't think it's ever been this cold before in the Bay Area during winter time. For me at least, I've only been here for a few years, but climate change definitely happening. But um, anyways, I got this big box in the mail room today. So I'm gonna open it for you guys because I know YouTube loves unboxing videos. I'm not sure what's in it because I order so many things on Amazon that um, every time something arrives, it's like a special surprise. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy. <gasps> Guess what it is? It's super exciting. It's more packing tubes, yay! Can you guys see? Yay, it's more tubes so I can ship more prints. It's not like a present or anything exciting, but I really, I feel really happy when I get more shipping supplies because it's always a sigh of relief. I'm always afraid of running out of shipping supplies and I think the worst thing that can happen when you're running like a business that involves shipping things out is running out of supplies when you've promised people a print or a product by a certain deadline. Um, so yeah, I always keep like double or sometimes triple the shipping tubes and clear envelopes stocked at all times just in case. And I'm done with half of the print orders. I print them by size. So these are all my small glossy prints. I um, just want to quickly show you guys. Yep, I'm really glad these turned out really pretty again, except for my small mishap earlier, but let's pretend that never happened. So yay, can't wait to package these up and send them off to their new homes. So it's about 6 p.m. right now. I'm just working on the painting behind me, taking a quick break to update you guys because my memory card on my main time-lapse camera is full, so I have to import the footage onto my computer and then so I can reuse the memory card. Um, as I mentioned before, filming a time-lapse, there are so many additional steps that it really does add on a lot of extra time and work to um, your painting, you know, so it's a lot more difficult and time consuming to paint while filming a time lapse than it is to just paint without having to worry about filming. But 
you know, I'm getting more and more used to it. Um, normally, I actually have two memory cards that I'm able to switch back and forth, but now that I am vlogging, um, the second memory card is always in my vlogging camera, so basically, long story short, I need to buy a lot of new tech equipment. I need to buy more storage from my computer because I'm storing like double the amount of video files and they are like several gigs per video. And I also need to buy more memory cards and probably some more tripods because my vlogging tripod right now is being used to film time lapses. So, oh! Anyways, um, yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update. I am starving. I cannot wait for my boyfriend to get ready so we can go get dinner. Yeah, so hopefully we'll go out somewhere cool and I can show you guys some more awesome food uh, shots around the Bay Area. The restaurants here are top notch. Yay, my boyfriend is finally home. We're gonna go out and have some hot pot right now. I can't wait to show you guys. Hot pot is my number one most favorite thing to eat ever. So I am starving and I'm so ready to eat some food. Huge line right now. <laughs> Everyone wants their hot pot tonight. So we are waiting outside <laughs> to get in and we thought to kill time, we should tell some jokes. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go first, and then you're gonna go, okay? And whoever has the lamest joke loses at life. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright. So, uh... Two... Two chemists walk into a bar. The first chemist orders water, but since he's a chemist, he says, I'll have some H2O, please. And then the second chemist says, I'll have some H2O too. And he dies. Because <laughs> H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> I totally knew that. <laughs> okay, your turn. Well, these have to be clean because it's YouTube. Uh, so. Yeah, so, so um, let's see. Uh, what, did, what did one balloon say to the other balloon uh, while they're walking in the desert? <laughs> what? Watch out. It's a cactus. Okay, you win. Mine was worse, for sure. <laughs> I think it's a tie. Please, please let us in. Let us in. We just want hot pot, please. This is the glorious hot pot. It's beautiful. And it comes with its own little stove. Look at that. Yummy. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> place called 85 degree C bakery it's in Berkeley and it's a really successful Asian bakery chain it's super delicious everything here is perfect um, yeah I have not gotten a thing here that I don't like so I'm really excited to get something for dessert This one over here, the Hokkaido cream cheese tart, is so good. I think this is my new favorite. It's basically like a pie crust, and the inside is cream cheese, but it's whipped and light and airy. It's almost like a quiche consistency. I don't even know how to describe it, but the cream cheese is divine, and it's not too sweet, which I like. Right now, it is super late, but we are still at Safeway. Shopping for vegetables so we can make lunch tomorrow for our for our neighbor who's coming over for lunch. All 
Alrighty guys, I just got home from dinner and dessert and late night grocery shopping. I know, what an exhilarating and raunchy night out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is about 11.30 p.m. and I'm gonna kick off one last print batch and um, probably go to sleep before midnight. I gotta wake up extra early tomorrow. I'm gonna be releasing my how to draw hair tutorial, so hopefully you guys enjoy that one. And also going to be getting up early to clean the house and cook a very traditional Chinese home-cooked meal for lunch. Um, not sure if I'm gonna vlog that. Honestly, it'll all depend on how much time I have. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope wherever you are, you're having a fabulous day or evening and maybe I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!